Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little Valentine's Day house tour for you guys. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't wanna miss out. Alrighty, let's get started with the house tour. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with the couch. Um, I I have all of my Valentine's Day pillows here and my new Valentine's Day blanket right there. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing where any of these items are, I did haul almost all the items uh, recently. So I will link all those videos down below. If you are curious about a specific item, go ahead and comment in the comment section and let me know. Uh, and um, I will comment back and let you know where I got everything from. So uh, yes, anyways, these are the pillows. And of course, they are red, white, and pink to go with Valentine's Day. Absolutely love Valentine's Day. It's my top three uh, for holidays. Obsessed. And so right behind the couch is my Happy Valentine's Day sign. And I have some hearts scattered about. And then that, um, this is actually a painting which I covered up for Christmas. If you saw my uh, Christmas decorate with me, and I just turned it into a Valentine's Day, I don't know, it kind of looks like a chocolate, Valentine's Day chocolate box. So, yeah, that is what I did. And it's just so pretty, so glittery. I love the pink ribbon. It is the most beautiful ribbon ever. Let me see if I can give you a close up. This is the ribbon up close. It's just so gorgeous. I love how it has all of these beautiful colors in it but it's mainly pink it's just so gorgeous i feel like it would look so pretty as like a nail polish or something oh gorgeous then when you turn around you have this wall which these garlands if you saw my christmas uh house tour then you know that i had these up for christmas and even the bows but then i just added some hearts to make it more valentine's -y. it's very very cute i love these hearts And then I have some tea lights along the windows. So yes, that is mainly from Christmas, but it worked for Valentine's Day. And then this wall right here was just so plain. So I just added some more of those hearts, those glitter hearts. But um, I kind of forgot about this, about my coffee table. <laughs> um, this is my coffee table. Please ignore my little slippers there, but my little coffee table. Um, I didn't put much on it this time I just had my little glass dome and then I put a Candle that I thought matched. It's the love candle. Of course this smells so good But it also matched with like the black matched with the black and I don't know I just thought it went very well and then all of the hearts that you see on top are all of these foam stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just decided to scatter them all around just for a little extra Valentine's Day touch. I don't actually light this candle, so um, yeah, it worked out. And if I do, I mean, I could just easily take it off. Okay, so from the coffee table, when we look up, we have my little fireplace and the TV, of course. I always change the TV screensaver to whatever holiday we're celebrating. And I have a Happy Valentine's Day screensaver. All right, so let's go back down here. If you saw my most recent video of my um, Valentine's Day crafts, then you know how I made this. We made this together, actually. So uh, this was actually really fun. I have two more on the other side. These are just little candy heart sticks. And of course, you can't have Valentine's Day without candy hearts, even though I think they taste terrible absolutely terrible like chalk but it's just i don't know it's just a memory from when i was a kid we used to always get candy hearts for valentine's day um from school and stuff so yeah these are my little love plants and then we go over here and i have pretty much everything mirrored on like either side so on this side i have a little rose bouquet with little hearts poking out of it and then right below, I have these candles, which I have totally given up on. 
Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, then you've probably seen me rant about these candles. They just eat up your batteries. Uh, but um, I still keep them up. I don't know why. I'm, I haven't fully given up on them, I guess. I don't know. But um, I have these candles, and then I have these little rose clips from the Dollar Tree. And some heart scatters. This is another DIY we made together. These little yarn hearts. That was really fun and really easy to make. And then I have a little teddy bear. And these are dry erase um, hearts, which I got from the Target dollar spot, which was really cool. Another DIY. And uh, this I got from Hobby Lobby. More heart scatters. This is, again, what we made together. I love the yarn hearts. They just kind of add a little bit of a cozy feel. And then I have my new love sign from Hobby Lobby. And this little double rose decor. They actually are supposed to hold tea lights, but... And then we have more decor over here. I have my little You've Been Struck by Cupid with some hearts falling out of it and some love letters falling out of it. Again, these were all of these like foam stickers. So I just placed them all in there. And I got these new tea lights, which are heart shaped. And I just put them everywhere. And of course I have my fairy lights in the back. So I just don't feel the need to light up the tea lights. And those die very quickly, so I just I don't even bother anymore. <laughs> And then you have more roses on this side. And then right below, we have my little candy heart lights, which I got from Walmart, uh, I think a couple weeks ago. So they might still have it. They have little messages on them. So adorable. So that's it for the fireplace. And it's really nice when the fireplace is all lit. It's so cozy at night. I just lit up the fireplace for you guys so you can see how it looks. But it's so cozy at night and oh, oh my gosh, I just love it. But there isn't enough lighting for me to show you guys what it looks like at night because it would just look really dark on camera at least. But in person, very, very cozy. I love it. So anyways, let's move on to this side. Here we have more of those love plants that we made together. This one is pink and yellow. So pretty. I love it. I don't know which one I like the best. Before, I thought I liked the mint one the best, but now, I don't know, I think I like the, the pink one. And then I also love the color of the purple one. <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, super pretty, super easy to make. And then over here, we have my little Valentine's Day tree. I had to make my husband dig this out from my Christmas decorations because I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a Valentine's Day tree, but this whole spot looks so empty, so I decided to do it. And um, it's a pretty short tree. I don't know how tall it is. I think it's just three feet or something or four. But uh, <laughs> so I tried to add some picks on the top to kind of give it some more height. And that's what it turned out to be. All of the decor I got from either Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree. And these like little red picks I used for Christmas. And these are the new picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this one I got from like a flower arrangement. I think my husband sent me a bouquet or something for Valentine's Day one year and I just kept it. And then in the back you have this little starburst of hearts. And below we have my Valentine's Day teddy bear, red velvet. My husband gave it to me. And here we have another Valentine's Day gift from my husband. This one was from 2017. This one, I don't know, I think I wrote it on him. I don't know, on the tag or something somewhere, but yes. That is Mickey. And then some of the chocolate heart boxes that he gave me. I still have them. And I just use them as decor and some rose petals just sprinkled about because if you look real close, you can see it's still a Christmas tree skirt <laughs> with snowflakes. So I tried to cover that up a little bit. You can barely notice it in person, but yeah. So that is my little Valentine's Day tree. I love the colors and everything. It's just, oh, I love it. And right next to it is the dining area. So we have this little window 
with some hearts and bows. And again, those bows and the garland is from Christmas time. So I just kept them up and added some hearts. This guy is, he keeps following. So I don't know what's up with him, but anyways, this is the dining table. I kept the bows from Christmas. And this is the table setting. I absolutely love the table setting. <laughs> and I couldn't decide on red or pink. So I just used both because the red kind of shows through the pink. And then I put the red on each end of the table for uh, the table setting and the pink shows through. So that's what happens when I can't decide. I just use both. And then I added a wine glass with some heart scatters and a heart straw. This looks like a little Valentine's Day drink. We don't really use our dining table, so if we did, I don't, I don't think I would be doing all this. <laughs> but I folded the napkins into a heart shape and then I added a little love letter on top. These are little felt love letters. And then we have my little tear tray right here. So let's start from the bottom. I have a little rolling pin with some hearts. I thought they looked like little heart cookies. Then I have like a little s'mores cup and Mickey, of course, some Valentine's Day sprinkles. And then I love this, it's from Hobby Lobby. This little uh, candy hearts uh, gumball machine. My new little gnome with his kiss. This little hello love sign. I have some heart picks coming out of my new mug that says love. And another little marshmallow guy right here with some chocolates and a little red spoon. I have another one here too with some more chocolates. So that is the front. And then right next to the tear tray, I do have some heart. I don't even know what these are. They're felt and glitter. And I got them from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. And then I also put some of these heart tea lights in the middle. And here, I didn't have this originally. <laughs> this was actually in my husband's Harry Potter themed um, office, but this is the only Valentine's Day decor that was in there, so I just brought it out here just to show you guys. Oh boy, Hermione. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is the heart potion we made together in that craft video. Again, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. I will link it below and I'll add some cards up here so that you can check it out. But I thought that was a cute little setup. Anything off the trolley, dears? <laughs> okay, anyways. So let's come to this side of the table. And we have another marshmallow. And this little soulmates book my husband gave me. I love this book. It's so tiny and so cute, but the words in it are so sweet. And then a little teddy bear. I have some little mini mugs right on either side of this little kissing booth. And if you know, then you know, these things are so hard to find, oh my gosh. And I have the little uh, heart straws in those too. And then I have my other mailbox with some more hearts and love letters coming out of it. And some candles in the back wrapped in red velvet. We have my other little gnome guy here, right there. Okay, so that is it for the tear tray and the dining table. Let's move on to the table right behind it. So I have some hearts right here because this wall was just looking so plain. So I added that. I have my fairy lights, of course, and I have some heart scatters. This is another mailbox. I have some chocolates. This was actually filled to the top, but my husband, I told him not to eat any of the chocolates until I filmed this video at least, and uh, he, he just couldn't help himself. Ugh. And I have some more of those dry erase hearts here and here. And then these are full of um, heart scatters and some Dove chocolate. This is dark chocolate, which is why my husband didn't touch it. <laughs> these happen to be um, his favorite chocolate. So, all right. 
right. And then we have a little love potted plants. I pretty much did everything like on either side, just to mirror it to make it look as even as possible. And then I have my Cupid Stop Here sign that I got this year, which I absolutely love. I don't have batteries, so I have to keep this on because it does light up. So, so until I can get some batteries, this is what I'm gonna have to do. So cute. Okay, so we're moving on. Um, I did add just one heart here because it was just looking so plain with all the hearts everywhere. <laughs> and then I have my little entryway, my little arch, which I put some red and pink garland draping across. And then I have my little light curtain, which I had up for Christmas as well. It's so pretty. And then I have my wreath right here, hiding behind this curtain. It's my Valentine's Day wreath. So that is really pretty, especially because it's like right under our little love story picture collage thing up there. So that is my heart wreath. And then we move on to the kitchen. So I have little hearts stuck on each of the cabinets because they were just looking so plain. So I needed to add something. So let's move to the coffee station first. I have my little sugar with a little heart note on it. And I have my kissing booth sign right behind there. And my other tear tray. I would have loved to put the silver tear tray here, but uh, it's too tall. So this is the only one that fits. All right, so I have my love you more sign from Hobby Lobby, my little teddy bear, and my swan. These are actually dessert spoons. And some a little chocolate box. And I have how you brew in back there. And then a little Ray Dunn mug and another chocolate. This one is actually like a chocolate with the alcohol in it which I usually don't like those, but it was pretty. So I just added it <laughs> to the tray. Oh no, my love sign. Okay, there, that's how it's supposed to be. So it has a little love sign. This was also from like a floral something, some bouquet that my husband got me and I kept it. We have some heart picks back there inside of a red mug, some more heart love letters, my other gnome. And then I have some hot cocoa mix. It says you make me melt. And then of course I have my candle, the Japanese cherry blossom candle. And that is it for the coffee station. So we have some heart cutouts and then this is what you see. And the kissing booth. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this before, but you can actually flip it to where it says closed. But the kissing booth is always open here. <laughs> so here are some more heart cutouts that I showed you previously. And then right below are my Valentine's Day um, towels, dish towels. I love the colors. They kind of remind me of the Powerpuff Girls, you know. And then for the soap, I do change out the soap now for each holiday. So for this holiday, of course, I use Japanese cherry blossom. This, I just don't know why. I guess it's mainly the color, but the scent always reminds me of Valentine's Day. But yes, I already used up half of it. Crazy, this is brand new too. So right up there, I have my little bows. Those are from Christmas time. And then right below, I have this little trio of bouquets. I just used up all of my little picks. And I just had these little roses. I just added one to each. And these little tiny vases, they actually came together and they're from the Target dollar spot. In case you are wondering. I didn't really decorate a lot in my bedroom for Valentine's Day, but this is my current little bit of Valentine spread out right next to my bed. So um, these are all like, uh, skincare and um, lotions from Bath and Body Works. All color coordinated, of course, for Valentine's Day. And this is the um, Japanese Cherry Blossom uh, spray. I just associate this scent with Valentine's Day so much. I don't even know why, but that is what's in there. 
And then I have my little candle. Uh, I think this one is Cozy Cashmere, but I like the color and the scent. I can't even open it, but anyways, it's called Cozy Cashmere. There it is. And it's this beautiful mauve pink color. And then I have my little headphones, which happen to be pink. And then I have my um, little cup from Starbucks, which is also pink. So I just really liked how all the colors went together. Perfect for Valentine's Day. You guys, when I say I love Valentine's Day, like, I don't think you understand. <laughs> I already have my PJs picked out for Valentine's Day weekend. These I got from Walmart, I believe. And these beautiful slippers I got from Victoria's Secrets. And yes, I, these are my like everyday slippers, but these are for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited. So this is my view of the whole room. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for my Valentine's Day decor house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what your favorite part of the house tour was. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day!